What a morning. I am really thrilled to be here with our next guest. You might know him from his role as Detective Bunk in The Wire. Now, Wendell Pierce is back on Broadway after 30 years. He's starring in the Tony Award winning classic Death of a Salesman as Willie Loman, the traveling salesman chasing the American dream. Wendell, thank you. Thank you for it having me. It is a me. delight to lay my eyes on you. This is an honor for oh, me to be here. We know that you did this, the West, uh, the, the West End, mm -hmm. okay? In London, yes. In London. Mm -hmm. This is Broadway. Yes. How excited are you? Uh, I, I, this is the high water mark of my career. Mm. This is what I wanted to do. This is an American classic. It's iconic. Arthur Miller's Death of a Salesman is one of the great plays of the 20th century. And to do it in London was, uh, it was a fantastic thing. But to actually come home and do it on Broadway is, is, is a real honor. And it's historic because I'm the first black actor to play the role. That's right. In the 70 year history, yes. only five men have played it. I, I, I want first for people to see mm -hmm. a bit of it and then talk to you more about the representation. Okay. Here it is. In the year Al Smith was nominated, your father came to I've me. I've got to see said, some people. I'm kid. talking about your father. There were promises made across this desk. You mustn't tell me. You have people to see. I put 34 years into this firm, Howard, and now I can't pay my insurance. You can't eat the orange and throw the peel away. A man is not a piece of fruit. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> and everybody who's already seen it, I got chills just mm -hmm. seeing it on screen like that. What, as we said, the 70 year legacy of yes. this great classic. Only five men. You're the first right. of color. What does that representation mean to you? That uh, it, it's humbling and it's historic and it's an honor uh, to be in a small fraternity of men. I think of two groups of men. Mm -hmm. The small fraternity of men who have played the role over the 70 year history, Dustin Hoffman, mm. Lee J. Cobb, Philip Seymour Hoffman, you know, Brian Dennehy and George C. Scott to wow. join that collection. And then I think of all the men who were denied the opportunity to play it, who were mentors of me, uh, that inspired me to be an actor. Ozzie Davis, Roscoe Lee Brown, Harry Belafonte, Sidney Poitier. And so I think of them that I have an obligation to uh, step up to the plate to show uh, and, and, and demonstrate um, the ability and the opportunity that they would have had you know, so, and, and, and that's the paradox of America, and that's what we explore in the play. And so I think of those two groups of men, uh, it's a great honor and a great obligation to, to join this legacy. Well, everything that you just said, and you, you, I've heard you say, you, this is the Mount Everest. Yes, it you. is. How did you, were there any anxieties? And if so, how did you approach them? Yeah, uh, there were a lot of anxieties, you know. Uh, this is uh, one of the great roles in the American canon. Um, a great play. I never expected to be given the opportunity, uh, but I leapt at the chance, and I realized that the 40-year career that I had, mm -hmm. it was uh, it was all leading up to this moment. This is going to be the high water mark of my career, even my life, to have an opportunity like this to to take all that I have done, you know, training at Juilliard when I mm -hmm. came here from New Orleans, um, and to to put it out. Arthur Miller said it the best, you know. Uh, there's a certain immortality to theater uh, that an actor takes with them to their dying day that on a certain afternoon they cast the shadow of a man who wasn't themselves and gave voice to the unsung heart song that the other that the ordinary man feels but never utters mm -hmm. and so with that I take this moment to my grave oh there is there is something very special about about Broadway you know also when folks see you the wire Yes. They think, and, <laughs> and when you look back, it's been so many years now, but when yeah. you look back on the, your work and the role that you play, what do you see? Uh, uh, the, wire, um, was, the Wire was a very special thing because it's a, it's a novel for television. It was unique. It changed television. And you always hope to do something that will have an impact for a long time. I mean, that's the role of art, mm -hmm. you know, to have an impact on society. And the, and the Wire, 20 years now, still having that impact just shows you the great piece of art that it was for television. Yeah. And uh, it's a real honor also to be a part of that. I know it's going to be, you know... Um, one of the things that I'm going to be remembered for, and I have no problem with that. You, you know, when I tell people all the time, you see me on the street, 
feel free to call me Bonk. <laughs> oh, you're so good about that. And, and knowing that the role that you're playing now and the role that you played then. And yeah, you want to create that body of sure, work. You know, sure, sure. To, to think that I have, you know, The Wire and now Death of a Salesman mm -hmm. in the, the body of work that I've created. Um, that's, that's the legacy that I want to leave. You yeah, know? And, you're, and the legacy, can I talk about that? And mm -hmm. can I say thank you? My young nephew, Jeremiah yes. Kraft, is an Jeremiah. actor. Yeah. And you have spent time with him. You are, there you are together. You have mentored so many young actors. What is it that you, that you share with them? Well, so many people have given to me um, when I needed direction, when I needed uh, uh, inspiration. So many uh, mentors in my life really helped me go from step to step to step. And I, I would be remiss to, to, to have this career and not share with another young artist to make sure that they, uh, they fulfill what they want to do with their lives. Uh, and, and it's very important. I think it's a, it's a spiritual thing. Mm. It's something that, um, as the saying goes, to those much is given, much is expected, right? And uh, that's the thing that makes something classic, that yeah. you can touch people's humanity now and long after you're gone, still touch people's humanity and you do that by passing the baton to a young artist uh, who's influenced by you and then I can share with them how Ozzie Davis influenced mm -hmm. me and he shares with me how he was inspired by those who came before him so we become this long legacy it's like that Moses generation handing off something to the Joshua generation Ooh. you know and that's uh, and and that's something I believe in that's something that um, inspired me growing up in New Orleans and I, I take all of those people who loved me and cared for me onto that stage every night when I go to Broadway. You are a beautiful soul and the New Orleans contingent, my sister and her husband and yes. coming up with Jeremiah, we're going to see you in December. That's fantastic. Right there. Cannot, I look cannot forward wait. to seeing cannot you. Wait. Thank you, Wendell. Thank you. You were just dropping pearls of wisdom on us this morning. Wow. <laughs> look who I'm with. Oh, bless you. <laughs> Opening night, death of a salesman, death of a salesman on Sunday. Tickets are on sale right now. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.